All right, so I've looked at the power cable here, and it's clearly physically broken. You can see the ground conductors are exposed here and connected there, but this is clearly not going to be a long-lasting power connection. So I'm going to need to either replace the tip or find a way of repairing this. So probably replacing the tip is going to be the easiest solution. All right, so I went digging through my power supplies, and I found one that has the same tip but a different voltage and a different current. So I won't be able to use that power supply, but I will be able to use the tip to replace this tip. So here they are. They are identical. They have a center pin, so that's good. Without that center pin, it would not work. The power supplies require communication to the laptop in order to make sure that it is the proper brand laptop power supply. Anyway, so here are the two wires. I'm going to cut both of them somewhere in the middle and then solder them together. Well, the new tip to the proper power supply here. All right, so let's do that. All right, so there are three conductors within the power cable. The center conductor, I believe, is for the center pin. Then the first ring is for the positive voltage. And then the final ring is for the ground connection. But I do need to take some continuity measurements to ensure that, that is the true pinout of the power connector. And to test the continuity, I need to place one lead of the resistance meter on this part here, and then touch it to all three of these wires here. I've stripped off layers of insulation so I can expose the inner uh, conductor, the first ring, and then the final ring. So I can measure all points in reference here, 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 and here. And then the next measurement will be from the inner ring here, to these three conductors here, and then the center pin to these three conductors here. And my assumption was correct. So center conductor, first ring, outer ring. So now I need to make the same continuity tests on the new tip to ensure that the pin configuration is the same on both tips. And yes it is. I've stripped off each layer of insulation and put heat shrink tubing on each place there. So once I've soldered these two wires together, I can slip the heat shrink tubing over that solder joint on both sides, and then I'll solder these two together, and then slip the solder, or slip the heat shrink tubing over that solder joint, and then the final solder joint will be here, and I have heat shrink tubing on the cord, so I will have all of the solder joint separated and insulated from one another.
there we go. It's not the prettiest cable in the world, but it's functional.